Okay, so I had a pretty cool uh, Skype lesson with one of the uh, VIP members on the site the other night. Uh, he was asking me about impact position, about getting the shaft leaning forward at impact. And he was having some, str he was struggling with it in his full swing. And we talked about how using the go-to drill that we've got in the mastery course is going to be helpful to him. But I told him about this trick that I saw. Um, I'm not really sure where I saw it. So I'm just going to give the whole golfing sphere, the whole golfing blogosphere credit for this. But it's, it's pretty helpful. If you go ahead and just set the club up, and I'm kind of at a 90 degree angle here to the camera. If you were to set the club up 45 degrees closed to the target, and then take your normal grip, and take your normal stance and then look out to the target and find a way to get the club to point at the targeted impact. What you'll see is that you'd have to force your body into this, these alignments, this condition at impact to make it go straight. So again, you set up really, really close and then to make the face point at the target, you just shift your body to get the face point at the target and you'll see that the club has this, you know, really far forward leaning shaft. That's a great way to just get the sensation of turning back and turning through and having that forward shaft lean at impact. And I'll go ahead and hit just a little one here. This is from the go-to drill, pretty short shot. I'll set up, close the face 90 degrees, and then I'm gonna get the sensation of impact with a square face, and then just kind of rock back and rock through. That ball had just a, a really kind of natural, small draw to it, and it went about 30 yards with an eight iron. So. We're not trying to kill this shot. We're really just trying to get the sensation of forward shaft lean at impact. And this is a great trick to help get you there.